Hey friends and welcome back to another Handyman Clarence video. In this one we are doing a bedroom makeover, okay? This was Kaylani's room. Her and Callista were staying in this room and we are about to switch it up and change it to Kalia's room. We went from crazy black and white walls to a now neutral and very adult-like room okay Kalia loves it so we're gonna talk about what we did how we did it and let's get into it Before we go any further into this video, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and come and join the family. We would love to have you. To all of my returning subscribers and my besties, my friends, hey sis, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So this is a room makeover. We are about to take this incredibly awful room and turn it into a teenage paradise for Kalia. So right now we're showing what it looked like before. I had this trend where I was really into the black and white striped walls and it, it was cute. It was cute for about a year and then I got sick and tired of it. I got tired of looking at them pink ass walls. So we about to paint over this and make it look more adult like because right now it, 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 it is a hot mess. So I also wanted to change out the carpet and the floors as well. So we are painting, we're changing out the floors, and Khalid's about to get some new furniture. Let's talk about this paint real quick. So I wanted something neutral, of course. So I was, of course, looking for a gray because gray is definitely what's trending, what's neutral right now. But I was fighting with these paint colors with Sherwin Williams. Me and Sherwin Williams was about to box because I was tired of picking out the wrong gray and it was like coming out purple purplish and bluish and I was just like yo I just want a neutral gray so we came upon an agreement an understanding that agreeable gray was probably the best color for this room so as I'm working on painting everything covering up this hideous pink Christian is the electrician chasing out all of the outlets and switches because they were this like beige what what did they call it I don't know it was brown honey I think they call it cream or eggshell it, it was ugly so we're changing them all to a nice clean white and this is the after result of the agreeable gray look at it don't it look good nice and neutral i really like this color i'm definitely thinking about moving this color to another part of the house but anyway let's get back into the floor so we had carpet down and the girls absolutely destroyed it okay there was all kind of paint and candy and all kind of shit just stuck in my carpets had me hot so what i decided to go with was a laminate flooring instead here are some simple tools that you're going to need and all of my flooring came from Lowe's. Of course, I chose gray again. And then, you know, we gotta do a tool spotlight. So my tool spotlight for this video is gonna be my handy dandy table saw. Okay, sis was putting in over time, over time when she was doing this floor. So definitely get you a table saw if you plan on laying some flooring down. So this is uh, my second time dealing with flooring. My first time was when we did the fireplace and that was totally incorrect on how I was installing that flooring because I was trying to like continue the floor. But this time we are doing it from scratch, okay? Now, I read somewhere that you're supposed to remove the baseboards when you're laying down this type of flooring. Um, um, I did not because I was trying to be a frugal broke bitch and just be like, no, we can recycle this baseboard. It can stay. Um, it definitely made my job harder. I realized why they have you remove the baseboards now. Now I will say this, doing flooring has gave me a new respect for people who do flooring for a living, okay? Back breaking work, okay? My lower back was on fire and I was trying to finish this all in one day and I, I don't know how they do this. How they go from job to job just laying flooring all damn day. I. I Oh my God, Icy Hot will be your best friend after you are done laying some flooring down. But for the most part, it was pretty easy. Once you get that first row laid down, the rest of it is like cake, okay? You are literally just putting some puzzle pieces together and that is about it. Now, uh, make sure you use your little wedges, your little floor wedges so that the, the floor doesn't come in contact with the wall because you wanna give it room to swell and shrink and I don't know, honey. I saw that somewhere on a YouTube tutorial so I figured he knew what he was talking about. So anyways, I'm just going in there, tap tapping away with my little hammer, laying my flooring down. It is looking good, okay? Looking real good. I was like, girl, we, we got this in the bag. But it took me all damn night. All damn day, night, okay? I, I was hurting. 
but I was determined, all right? So now we about to come up on my first, um, what the hell do I do moment, okay? So now I have laid everything. Is I get to this doorway, the closet doorway, and um, <laughs> I caught myself trying to cut around it, and you see that big old gap between the baseboard? That, that ain't supposed to be there. That ain't supposed to be there. So I messed this up. I messed this up. I'm going to have to take it all off and, and redo it. Um, to be honest, I don't have no tip on how to, to do this right. Uh, but this is where I said I probably should have removed, you know, the baseboards. This is where my job got a little bit difficult. So, you know, no no problem. I went back to YouTube and I was like, hey, help. I need some help. Okay. I don't know what to do. And it was like, hey, just get you a little saw and cut around the bottom edge so that the floor can kind of slide up under there. So I just took a scrap piece of flooring and cut around, you know, so that I don't scratch up my actual flooring while I'm trying to saw this away. And I just chip it on away. And you see how it just slides right up under there. It's just like, yep, there you see it? Y'all see it? It just slid right on in there. So I'm just tip tapping it and tapping it away. Um, doing the closet was probably the hardest part in this entire thing because one, the closet is so small. So we're trying to fit our fat asses in there so we can get into the little crevices and the corners in there. And then, you know, I finally had a recruit christian lazy ass and i was like look yo my back is burning you get your ass in here and, and and lay some floor i mean do at least three tiles so i can take a 15 minute break or something and, and then i was hungry i was starting to become a, a godzilla out there I, but i was determined to finish this floor tonight so he comes over okay babe i'll help you out so you know there there he is and then he was doing it all wrong was pissing me the hell off i was like you know what get get the hell out of the way i got it you you ain't tip tapping the wood right it ain't sliding in there like it's supposed to you see him you see i had to just you know what get out the way get out the way you know just oh pitiful i mean pitiful now I'm gonna leave all the details on the tools we use, the flooring, the paint, all of those details in case you may have missed it in a video because you have a hard time listening. It'll be in the description box for you. All you gotta do, and I'll, I'll even provide some links for you so you can check it out on the website and click away. You know what I'm saying? Help, help a sister out by purchasing some of them links okay help me out so I can do another renovation and drive my husband crazy so yeah um first time laying down an entire room of floor not too bad not too bad definitely tiring but not too bad and you know I I, I will say that uh I wouldn't mind doing it again uh, I'll probably wait another two years because I'm gonna have to go see a chiropractor after I'm done but you know I, I think I did pretty good so let's go ahead and start the reveal of Kalia's little room she wanted to do like a little MTV Cribs little episode so she gonna give y'all a tour of the finished look Um, so over here we have my mirror, TV, and um, fidget drawer with all my poppets, a lot of them. Have my lights. Um, light. And then I have my desk. And then under my desk we have the show. Over here is my closet and one of my pictures I painted. Over there we have Pon Pon Sisters. And over here we have the map of the world. Now that I showed you my room, it's time for you to get out. Okay? Get out, shoe. 
No, that was real cute, Kalia. That was real cute. Well, thank you guys for joining us on another Handyman Clarence video. And this is the finished overall look of Kalia's now dream team room. Okay? It's so cute. I'm so proud of myself. And watch, they're going to ruin it within the next year. Paint going to be chipping off the walls. The floor going to be all wilted and stained. But you know what? I I'll do it again. Just... Just for my kids, I'll do it again. We'll see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.